Hello, it's me again, Ingela Lotrotter from Veil Visions. Uh, this is my second uh, blog in my video blog. I suppose I've done quite a few now since the last one, but I've been busy as normal. Um, but I'm gonna give you some updates, like I promised. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, last time, uh, I, among other things, I said that I was working on a friend of mine's um, crinoline skirt and a harness for her, the kind of arm shoulder thing matching her uh, skirt and it turned out very well and here you can see some photos of her she looked absolutely amazing and not only that but she has her own style that just embraces whatever she gets and she just makes her own thing uh, with it and I was so happy to be uh, part of that and that was for the science fiction bookstore ball it's a bookstore here in Stockholm uh, where we sell uh, science fiction books but not only that but kind of um, fantasy, Doctor Who, they sell role playing games all that and I'm a big uh, nerd so and I've been playing role playing games since forever um, so uh, I was very happy to be at that ball it was amazing it was so many brilliant outfits uh, performances it was once in a lifetime at least here in Stockholm it was really really amazing to be there anyway, and you can also check out uh, Tasmania's uh, latest video where she uh, she makes a videos about what she has bought recently and give a bit of tour and what she think of it and so forth and she bought a big lot for me um, and here's the link and it's also down below and I also did my own uh, outfit for that and I was very happy with it, I worked for it a lot uh, I did my roses because I love my roses um, to decorated a bit more. I didn't want it to be so black, uh, not too gothic. I like my colours. I like just to use the black as a base so any colour completely stands out of it. Um, and here you can see a few pictures. Uh, what I did first, a few, I, I wasn't sure which ones that I was going for but I went with a symmetrical and they have a picture of me. Uh, also, what's happened since last time, I've moved my studio, uh, actually just a uh, room next door in this venue, to this. Uh, you can see my studio behind you. A uh, bit crammed, but I keep it very, very organized. I know where everything is. The smallest bead, I know where it is. I need to. Um, and I'm quite happy with it. I put everything up myself, including the shelves in the concrete wall, which was fun. I was drilling and I felt quite manly, or womanly. Um, what else? Um, yeah, you might see that I have a big different hair now. Um, it's black with purple uh, tops or ends of it and I'm very very happy with it so it is real hair extensions that a friend of mine made and she is very amazing uh, very good and I, I haven't had this much that's why I, I invented my uh, hats and veils and stuff so I can fill out my hair because I have typical Scandinavian hair which is very very thin baby like really soft hair. You can't do much with it. If I bleach it or color it, uh, basically fall off or I just get shorter and not nice. So I have to find other solutions. So that's basically how I started to make a lot of my designs. It wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking of selling them. That's what people told me later I should make and sell them. So it's a bit of background story to Veil Visions. Um, anyway, um, my very talented talented friend uh, who is an amazing hairdresser uh, who calls herself Vintage Touch and there is uh, there is her link 
uh, to her Facebook page and also there is one below so you don't have to go back and forth in the video um, yeah and at the moment I am in return for this lovely hair uh, I'm making her a vintage style dress you can see the toile b behind me toile uh, test dress that you that I like to make in any cheap material until you get the pattern right and then you start cutting in the more expensive fabric so she's coming tomorrow to test it and I can't wait to make it because it's going to be very very pretty it's going to be a black with black lace and uh, white beads and a bit of other things yeah. sometimes it, it takes the person to wear it to say oh, I would like to have that or so then I make it more decorate it more uh, what else uh, yeah um, okay with Veil of Visions it's been the usual sales uh, the last one was uh, this black veil hat um, and I'm also working on the Swedish translation for the website because I'm back in Sweden and I get lots more Swedish sales and also this the prices are going to be Swedish crowns since uh, that is the currency I'm now using um, also yeah uh, the Facebook group has uh, 9,917 likes so far uh, so it's only 83 to go till 10,000 so hoping it happens soon because uh, yeah, it's going to be contests, there are going to be treats and etc. Lots of stuff is going to go on. So invite your friends so I can start. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, uh, I also do airbrushing, like some of you might know. Um, not only do I like to airbrush my own clothes, like you can see here, like uh, jackets, coats, dresses, uh, and recently boots. And also I can do shoes and uh, simple t-shirts and so on. Um, and I recently did drumsticks for a band called uh, Chugger, or Chugger, Chugger I think they pronounce it. Um, and I think that turned out very very cool. And they have the link to their Facebook and it's also below. Um, and also I did these boots. Uh, these are my own boots because I wanted to try this idea I've had in my head for ages. Uh, I just finally got there. Yeah, that's how I will do it. And I think the turn up very, very nice. Uh, just need an excuse to go out wearing, wear, to wear them. Uh, but hopefully it will happen soon. Um, uh, what else? Yes. Um, oh yeah, I do uh, merchandise. Uh, as I think I mentioned before, uh, embroidered merchandise. Uh, and I recently did hoodies for a band called Blood of Serpents. Um, link there, link there. Um, and I think they turn out very well. And the the embroidery in the back is probably the most advanced I've done so far. It was it took about two hours on each uh, embroidery just to embroider. Never mind uh, digitizing it beforehand to make to get it just right because it's full of details. But it looks really, really nice, and I'm very happy with it. Um, and also, uh, oh yeah, uh, the drummer uh, who I airbrushed uh, the drumsticks for, or the band, but the drummer uh, made an unwrapping video, uh, which, uh, here's a link to that, and there, um, which was quite fun to see because no one's made an unwrapping video of anything that I made, so it's really fun to see, and you can watch it if you like. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, merchandise. Uh, I did uh, some t shirts for a cleaning service uh, company. It's a, a sister of a friend of mine uh, called Fröken Flitig. Link there. Um, and here's a picture of her, happy with her uh, t shirt. Uh, I also did some other stuff like shirts, trousers, and some towels, etc. Um, and he have a link to my uh, merchandise um, Facebook page called IL uh, Merchandise Embroidery or IL 
eh, reklambrodyr. Så i alla fall Ingela Lorstedt. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, other work I've done is uh, I did a just a fun thing. I had the material and I had the idea, and I've seen other people do it on like Etsy and Tumblr. It's called uh, I call it a retro bag. I basically used old floppy disks and I drill holes in them and uh, put it together as a bag. And then I uh, had a shoulder brace strap that I embroidered like really retro designs on, like you can see here. Um, and also I did the lining on the inside so you have like pockets and so it doesn't fall out small stuff. And it's really really cool and it's hard for me to not keep it to, to not keep it myself. But I think it can make someone very happy. Um, and but instead of putting that because it's a kind of a one off thing, crafty thing, I'm gonna put it in the Baylor Visions uh, Etsy shop. I'm gonna start an Etsy shop. Uh, we've had one before but I just didn't have the time to update <clears throat> and upload all my designs there as well as the regular website. But I'm gonna do that now and also I will have other stuff like my airbrushed stuff. It will be airbrushed um, clothing, shoes, uh, paintings. Uh, I wish uh, I would like to get back to doing more art stuff which I haven't done for years because of lack of time. So um, yeah, um, you should hope Hopefully the essay shop should be up soon and I should reach more people and get more sales so I can get the business started properly. Because right now, um, privately, um, I've been substituting as an art teacher and a textile slash uh, sewing teacher in a local elementary school here uh, when, when the sales are low. so. Well, it's been fun. It's been uh, cool to teach kids uh, basically what I do every day or every other day. Uh, yeah, not much else has happened uh, privately because I'm mainly working. Uh, but I have uh, met, met someone. Uh, I'm not saying much. Uh, but for now, I can only say that he's uh, really wonderful and amazing. and. We have a lot of fun together and it's made me actually uh, having and uh, taking time off from work a bit prior to prioritize uh, myself and my own time for a little bit more than I have for the last many years. So yep, that's all I'm saying for now. Um, that's all for now guys. Uh, Susan, and I promise to make more of these a bit more often because <laughs> you've been asking where the next one is coming so I, I promise I will do more in the future. Bye now!